Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So today I would like to share with you topics 2.5 implicit differentiation. So in mathematics we have two types of function. Okay, which are explicit function and also implicit function. Okay, implicit means the variable y appears alone on one side of the equation. For example, you have y equal to 5x cubed minus 4. Implicit function means the variable y is not alone at one side of the equation. Okay, for example, here you have sine x plus 3y equal to 5x cubed minus 4y squared. Okay, you can see here you have your y on both sides of your equation. So, how to differentiate implicit function? So, this is a few steps to guide you. The first one, you must to differentiate both sides of the equation, right and left hand side. And then step two, you collect terms dy dx at one side of the equation. Normally, we collect on left hand side and then step 3 you factor out your dy dx and finally you solve or you simplify so that you have uh, your equation with a title of dy dx on it ok let's write an example find dy dx for x cubed plus y square plus 1 equal to 2y so, in this case, y is your dependent variable, x is your independent variable. So, first step, we differentiate both sides of the equation. Okay? So, we differentiate with respect to x, both sides of the equation. So, what we have, on your left-hand side, you will have 3x squared dx dx. I give you, uh, this is optional. The guy they want to write this or not, no problem because this will give you 1. And then plus 2y dy dx. Differentiate constant go to 0. And then on your, right, on your right hand side you have 2 dy dx. Okay, next you collect huh, the term which consists of dy dx. Okay, and then the rest you bring on your right hand side here. Okay, next we factor out our dy dx. Okay, so now we have 2y minus 2 dy dx. And then on your right hand side you have minus 3x squared. And then finally we simplify so that we only have our dy dx in our left hand side okay so the solution is dy dx equal to negative 3x square over 2y minus 2 okay but be careful when you differentiate your dependent variable remember to multiply with its derivative okay same goes to the right hand side here you differentiate your dependent variable, so you must to multiply back with your the derivative of your, uh, with the derivative, okay? Uh, so, I put a note here. Remember to multiply with derivative of your dependent variable, in this case, y, okay? When you differentiate y or when you differentiate dependent variable in implicit differentiation. Okay, let's look at example, this example. So, find dx dt for x squared plus t squared minus 2x equal to sine 3 t. So, in this case, x is your dependent variable and t is your independent variable. So, first step, we differentiate both sides with respect to t. So, what we have, okay, so... By differentiate both sides, so you have this on your right hand side, 
and then you have this on your left hand side okay so as i told you remember you must to multiply with derivative of your dependent variable when you differentiate your dependent variable here okay dx dt and then we also have dx dt here and then after that we combine the same term means we collect the dx dt on the left hand side okay and then 2t you bring on your right hand side here and then finally to obtain your solution you simplify so that you will have dx dt equal to 3 cos 3t minus 2t over 2x minus 2 okay let's look at another example here find dy dx for this uh, function here okay so you ask to differentiate implicitly okay so i prepared the video here so let's look at this video implicit differentiation okay now look at this example so how to differentiate this we must to have differentiate everything here okay so on your left hand side so you must to differentiate respect to x so this term minus differentiate this term respect to x and differentiate your right hand side also with respect to x okay so now differentiate this so be careful you must to apply product rule okay product rule so what we have here is 2x y cube plus and then you differentiate y by keeping your x so you have x square 3y square dy dx and then differentiate this so x one and y dy dx and then you have here differentiate your right hand side is 2 exponent 2x okay now we need to collect collect the symptom okay so we want to collect our dy dx here okay so we collect on the left hand side here is dy dx so what you have here is 3y square x square and then you have minus exponent y equal so the term without your dy dx you bring to your right hand side so you have 2 exponent 2x minus 2x y cube okay so to complete your solution so we want only dy dx here therefore what we have here is a y prime x equal to 2 exponent 2 x minus 2 x y cube and then you divide with everything here so you divide with 3 y square x square minus exponent y so this is your solution right okay so now it's time to test your understanding so i put a past year final exam here okay from 2018 2019 semester 2 so please try in two minutes try to figure out this solution okay Assume that y is a function of x, and given that x squared plus xy plus cos 2y equal to 8y. Okay, so please try to find dy dx using implicit differentiation. So I give you two minutes.
Okay, so let's check your solution. Right. Never mind. If you still have need some time, you can try later. But if you finish, then you can check your working solution. So you must to have this solution. Okay. So again, be careful here. You must to apply product rule when you differentiate x multiply with y here. Okay. So if you obtain this solution, means that you already understand how to solve implicit differentiation okay but otherwise you can try uh, again eh? do a lot of practice okay let's continue okay, let's look at this example okay let's say you have this uh, equation here and you ask to use uh, implicit differentiation to find your dy dx but this time you are given a value, okay, value for your x equal to 3 and y equal to 2. Okay, means that the final answer must be in value, okay. So again, we apply all this procedure here in order to get the dy dx. Okay, differentiate the left and right hand side, this one. Okay, since uh, this is very straightforward, eh? if you can see this problem is very straightforward. Okay, and then you will have this, and then again you must do factor out dy dx. Okay, but this time I just jump straight away to the solution here. Okay, we skip a few steps here. So you should have dy dx equal to 1 minus x over y minus 3. So this time, we are given a value, so you need to substitute x equal to 3 and y equal to 2 into your dy ds. Okay. Also very simple. So finally, you should get dy dx equal to 2. Okay. Nothing uh, new, just um, we insert a value for x and y after you get your solution. Okay. Continue. And again, um, I give you a final exam question. This is from 2018-2019, semester 2. Okay, in order to test your understanding. And I prepare a video here to guide you. Okay, now we look at this example. So now you need to implicit differentiate again. But this time... We are given the value of x and y means at the end of the solution you must to have one value. Okay, so the same procedure. So how to differentiate this? So we differentiate both sides of your equation. So now you have d dx x square minus x y plus y square. I group like this. And then for your right hand side, you must to differentiate your constant value, eh? 5. Okay, so at this point, hopefully you already have the idea about this. You must to apply product rule. Okay, so differentiate x square with respect to x, so you will have 2x. And then differentiate this again by using product rule. So what you have here is a minus differentiate x so one so y and then plus differentiate your y dy dx okay, and then differentiate this two y dy dx and then you differentiate constant give you zero. Okay, so again, we need to collect dy dx on your left hand side. So, we have dy dx. Okay, so what you have here, negative x plus 2y. And then, without dy dx, you bring to your right hand side. So, you have y minus 2x. Okay, so finally, we have here y prime x or it's actually dy dx equal to y minus 2x over 2y minus x. Okay, so now you must to plug in the value 
x equal to 0, y equal to square root 5 here. So what you have here is, so x0 finish, so you have y here, square root 5 over 2 square root 5. Okay, so simply cancel off these two. So now your solution is actually 1 over 2. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I think that's all. So I prepare here selected exercises from tutorial. So maybe you can try. Uh, and then if you face any difficulties, don't not. Yeah, don't hesitate to ask your lecturer. We ready to help you. Okay, but you must to try first. And then if you face any problem, okay, WhatsApp or uh, text your lecturer. Okay, that's all. Thank you.